My career as a photographer began while traveling the West in an old camper van with my dog Denali. In the 15 years that have followed, I've documented the lifestyles of those who prioritize a life in the outdoors. I was intrigued by Daniel's story, this major league pitcher who lived in his van in the off season. We first connected through Instagram. I had followed him for a while. I shot him a message and just kind of let him know, like, hey, I'm a huge fan. An adventure photographer and a pro athlete. I didn't think we'd have much in common. Growing up, I was a scrawny, nerdy band geek. Last to be picked on the playground. A late bloomer, so to speak. But I realized we had a lot more in common than I expected. We found that we both shared a love for photography in the outdoors. So when the opportunity arose to take a road trip west and tell Daniel's story, we both jumped at the chance. Ben and I were gonna road trip Shaggy out west. The plan was to get from Tennessee to Oregon and then down to Ventura. Oftentimes, the word adventure gets overused. Not an adventure until something goes wrong. Nothing really went to plan, but he just kind of learned to slow down. Along the way, I saw that Daniel had a strong eye for photography. There's so many memories that can go along with the photo, and I think that's what's incredible about portraiture. There's a huge story to be told. He had an ability to not only capture an amazing portrait and really speak to who that person was, but he did it in a way that was so graceful and human. Portraits are some of the most challenging images for me to shoot. In order to capture a strong portrait, I need to be open to the person in order for them to open up to me. By the end of the trip, I felt like we were almost family. We definitely were starting to look like twins, the bearded brothers. The one thing that stood out to me the most about Daniel was he valued experience over things. All he really needed was strong coffee and lots and lots of eggs. One other thing that we have in common and that I was not expecting was that we both had our own battle with cancer. The kinship of going through something like that, you just have a different level of respect for the time that you have. After millions of people watched the film about Denali and I, I felt a bit exposed as I shared so much about my experience with cancer. You feel pretty vulnerable. You know, people kind of almost like feel sorry for you, and that's the last thing I wanted. I'm a baseball player. That's where I wanted the focus to be. If anything, it's like, hey, like, I can get through this. You need to stop taking things for granted. That changes you and it shifts you. It was really cool to be able to spend time with him and shoot this story and see his tools of the trade being used. I kind of realized a lot more about who Daniel was as a person. He walked his talk. He was that guy that I saw in the photographs. Going through the ups and downs of driving coast to coast in an old beat up van and breaking down and going through all that. It's really cool to have a friendship built off of the outdoors and passion about other people really. <laughs> <laughs>